Now baseball under the lights of Wrigley Field in Chicago. Tonight it's the first of four between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Chicago Cubs. J.D. Martinez attempts to climb the National League batting leaderboard next. Here's Yasmani Tomas. His matchup numbers with Hendricks. He's hitless in three at bats. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. The bouncer to the left side. Scooped up. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Diamondbacks strand a pair. Now the Cubbies will get their first crack. No score. Coming to the plate now, number 87. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The shortstop, number 87. Here's the first pitch now from Greinke. This is line to left. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. And now the Diamondbacks will try to counter his speed at first right out of the chute. No mistake what he was sitting on, looking for a dead red piece of cheese, middle of the plate, and he didn't miss it. Here's Jason Hayward now. Career line against Greinke. He's three for 15. He's also gone down on strikes five times. He's running. Pitch outside the throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. I think coming into this series, they knew he was one of the guys that were going to have to keep quiet. But he's setting the tone right here in the first with the steal of second. He could end up being a big factor. Runner breaks for third. Hold on, hold Strike on, right here. Now the throw down. Is not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. You know, I was pretty surprised to see him on the move to third because it didn't seem like he had that much of a lead, but he made it work out. That was really impressive. The runner in scoring position with none out. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. As he arrives at second without a play as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. Man, this is a continuation of the great at-bats we saw in last night's game when they lit it up, seemingly scoring at will. Now that double brings in a run for an early lead here. They just keep on keeping it. Digging in for his second at-bat, number 87. Number 87. Second at-bat here. He reached via a single to lead off the home first. Hey, second time around, let's see if this guy goes up and looks for the fastball. He got a fastball on his first at bat and didn't miss it. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. And that's just shy of the baskets and off the Come ivy. On, get out, get out, around get out. second. He's on his way to third. And he is in to third with a two-out triple. So just like that, there's a runner at third with two away as we give you a look there at the league leaders in triples. And as you can see there, he in fact leads the NL in that category. Trying to pick things up where we left off, Jason Hayward. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Martinez has a read on it. And that retires the side. No damage done after the two out triple. Back for more from the north side after this. Ready now for the Diamondbacks. David Peralta, his matchup numbers with Hendricks, batting at an even 400. One, one, one. Grounded back up the middle. Fielded. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. And with that, we give you a look here at what's happening in the race in the National League Central.
So stepping in J.D. Martinez. He drew a walk his first time up. Martinez. One, one, toward one. the hole. Three, three, and that gets through for a one out base no run, hit. No run, and that no runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. So he picks up another hit. First of the game, but as we've mentioned, it's just one of many so far this season for him. Yeah, Matty, I know he's fighting for a batting title right now, but the consistency this guy has shown from start to finish. Brandon Drury will oh, bat man. next as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Two, two, the ground out to short. He's right there. Throw to second for the force out and the side is retired. Diamondbacks strand a pair. They still trail it here two to one. Here's Chris Owings now. His matchup numbers with Hendricks. A number of meetings, he's one for seven. Now the one and one pitch. Short. He's got it. And they will not get him at first as he's able to leg out the throw. Digging in and looking for more. Number 87. Two for two with a triple on his batting line to this point. Number 87. First pitch on its way. Back up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. So we'll see if they have something in the works here with the leadoff hitter aboard and a guy that can really handle the bat in the number two spot. This guy came into today absolutely on fire and nothing has changed. He looks seriously hitterish at the dish right now. That's his third knock of the game. Stepping into the box, Jason Hayward. He flew out in his last at bat. A pause and the 0-2. Back up the middle. That gets through and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. And he's safe. Even though that pitcher was able to execute in off the plate, batter was able to keep his hands inside that baseball and drive it up the middle. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. Career line against Greinke, batting at an even 400. Greinke over to first, but the runners back easily. Two runs, seven hits, no errors so far for the Cubbies. This is pulled into right. And a base hit, and that'll get the run in from third. Boy, Dero, we're looking at a big inning right here with that single. Bases are loaded, yet no runs have scored in this inning. Yeah, and that's exactly what that pitcher wants you to think. You have to eliminate the noise, Dan. Just try and drive in the guy from third base. Don't put pressure on yourself that you have to get everyone in with one swing of the bat. Pass the baton and keep the line moving. Needs a punch out here. Can he get it? Now a swing and a deep drive to left. And it ain't coming back. Gone! It's a grand slam. So one swing, and he unloads the bases on that one, and even 30 home runs on the year. And it's now a 6-1 to one ball game. Yeah, you've heard the saying, stuck between a rock and a hard place. Well, that was the case here. Bases loaded, facing the best power hitter in the lineup, and he showed why he is so feared. He knocked it out of here with a vengeance. So digging in now, Chris Herman. He's one for two in the ball game. Chris Herman. Two, two, two. He's on the ground to first. Could be two. On to first, but not in time as he beats it out. Up next for the Diamondbacks, second baseman, 
And to reach for it there as this is grounded to short. Reined in. And he'll just beat the throw to second. He's in there. You know, Dero, sometimes one of your best friends are your own teammates right there. Good hustle from first base to beat that throw to second. And guess what? He bought his battery made a knock. Digging in now, number 87, number trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Slapped hard the opposite way. Peralta is there, and they breeze through this half inning as the side is retired. Cubs are down in order. They hold on to their six to one lead. Here's the lefty Gregor Blanco now. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Comes set and the 0-1. Little chopper up the middle. Fielded clean. And indeed he won't look at second. He'll just flip it on over to first to take the sure out. Now batting. Georgia. Daniel Descalzo. On the ground to second base. This could be two. To second for one. On to Rizzo, oh, but a little slow in developing as they'll just get the one out. Here's Yasmani Tomas. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. The 1-1 one -one pitch. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Well, d -roll, there's another base hit making it first and second. They're piling up the hits on the day, but so far not many runs to show for it. Yeah, definitely a few knocks in the cupboard makes you feel good and the batting average goes up, but that doesn't help you win ball games. Somebody has got to come up with a nice A-B with runners in scoring position. And tonight's comes to a conclusion. Six to one the final. The Cubs jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Kyle Hendricks gets to double digits with his 10th win of the year. Zach Grinke permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at